According to the president, Chicago is basically Syria, but with different pizza. Look at Chicago. What the hell is going on in Chicago? What's that all about? Chicago is worse than some of the countries you read about in the Middle East. Afghanistan is not like what's happening in Chicago. It's terrible. I have property there. It's terrible what's going on in Chicago. I don't want to have thousands of people shot in a city where, essentially, I'm the president. I like how... I like how he says he's essentially the president. No, Donald, you are the president. You are the president. Like, in that moment, in that moment, he exposes how, in his mind, he's not president of the places that didn't vote for him. You know, it's like, a, like some reluctant stepfather who's basically like, yeah, well, I guess I'm essentially your dad now because your mom f***s me, but I mean, <laughs> this is not how I wanted it. It really sucks. It honestly sucks that people call Chicago the most dangerous city in America, especially when it's not really true. All right, does Chicago... <laughs> does Chicago have the most murders? Yes, but it's also the third biggest city. If you want to talk about cities uh, that are the most dangerous, right, you have to look at murders per capita, uh, the amount of violent crime relative to the size of the city. Think of it this way. Would you rather be in a big city with five Pennywise the Clowns or in an Uber pool with just one? <laughs> right? That's per capita. That's all it is. That's what it is. And now, please, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be concerned about murders in Chicago. I'm just saying it's weird that people in politics, especially, especially on the right, they always point fingers at Chicago. Uh, and it's weird, because there are other cities with higher murder rates, you know? St. Louis, Baltimore, Memphis, Cleveland. But no one's ever like, oh, don't go to Cleveland. Don't go to Cleveland. Well, they do, but not because of murder. They don't say that because <laughs> of murder. So, if other cities in America have more violence per capita, then why would the right be so obsessed with Chicago? Well, uh, I don't know. You, you guys tell me if you can figure it out. President Obama failed so miserably to curb violence in his own hometown. Look, just for example, at what's happened in Chicago, president's hometown. In Chicago, it's like the Wild West out there. Chicago is more dangerous than Afghanistan. Mr. President, you own Chicago, and that failure is on you. I don't hear a damn word out of Obama's mouth about the deaths in his hometown of Chicago. Oh, now I get it. When there's shootings, Obama's from Chicago. All the other times, he's from Kenya. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah? And that's... That's basically what most of this is about. These people don't care about Chicago's murder rates. They care about how they can use Chicago to score political points. Uh, and look, ultimately... Ultimately... It doesn't matter whether Chicago is ranked number one in murders or number nine in murders. What's important is stopping the murders. And luckily... <laughs> right, and luckily... Unlike us haters and losers, President Trump has ideas. But we're in Chicago and we had massive motorcycle brigades. You could see a really respected officer, police officer. He was at the head, he was the boss. I said, how long would it take you to straighten out this problem. He said, if you gave me the authority, a couple of days. Wow. Trump's imaginary friend can fix Chicago in a couple of days. Yeah.